Hey, it's Old Man Coffee. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Well, I'm driving up to Vegas today. You know, I've been down in Laughlin. The reason for going to Vegas, I'll explain it to you in the car. So let's get on the road to Vegas. Well, now that I've got that uh, hill behind us, all the curves and everything in that road coming up out of Laughlin, and we're on the straightaway on 95, heading into Las Vegas. I can tell you why I'm going to Vegas. Well, about a month ago, I sold my Harley. Yeah, I sure did. Uh, I wasn't riding it, uh, no reason to keep it anymore. At about that same time, an e-bike company contacted me, uh, MagiCycle, and wanted me to review their e-bike. So I said, sure thing, I'll do it. And uh, I became an affiliate with them. So they sent me an e-bike, and I'm on my way to Vegas to pick it up. I'll bring it back to Laughlin and put it together in the parking lot. So I'm looking, really looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be a, a big difference than riding the Harley, that's for sure. And I haven't ridden a bicycle in, a, I guess, probably about uh, 30 years. Uh, so. Uh, that's going to be an experience all on itself. So let's get into Vegas and pick up that e-bike from MagiCycle. And I was able to get it in the back of that Kia. That was pretty amazing. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit. When I got the box opened up, I noticed that the box containing the battery had a hole in it. And I was a little concerned about that. And open the box that contained the battery. I discovered that it was all right, not damaged at all. Now the next step is to unbox the bike. But in this video that was produced by MagiCycle, he lifts it right out of the box using his back. Well, I wasn't going to do that. Not at 75 years old. So I decided to just cut the box open and I could use the cardboard to protect the bike as I was assembling it. And you're going to find an accessory box. Now in that box, you're gonna find a complimentary bike alarm, a nice tool bag for your cell phone and your tools, 
the pedals that you'll be mounting on the bike, complimentary bike lock, a tool kit that contains all the tools you're going to need to put the bike together, and a headlight, a complimentary MagiCycle baseball cap, and then of course your owner's manual and instruction manual putting the bike together and they even throw in a pair of gloves also you're going to find a box containing the charger for charging the battery now the only things you have to assemble on the bike are the front wheel the fender the headlight the pedals and the handlebars now I watched the MagiCycle assembly video and I watched how he installed the front wheel. To me, it looked like a lot of balancing involved. So I thought I would make it a little bit easier on myself. After I installed the handlebars, I inverted the bike. I used some packing material to protect the handlebars. Then it was real easy to install the fender along with the headlight. And then installing the front wheel and aligning the brake disc was no trouble at all. Well, the Magi Cycle took me about two hours to put together. That includes uh, filming time. And uh, the only tool that I needed that didn't come in the tool bag was something to cut all the zip ties with. There's a lot of zip ties. It takes quite a while to cut all those zip ties. But that's good because that means it was protected very well during shipment. Now before MagiCycle reached out to me, I didn't know anything about e-bikes. Hadn't researched them. The only person I knew that even owned an e-bike was Mr. Vegas. He had an e-bike. Other than that, I didn't know anything about e-bikes. So when they reached out to me to review their 750 watt, under $2,000 e-bike, I decided to do some research. And I found three bikes that were in the same category, 750 watt motors and about the same size bike with the fat tires. And I researched those on YouTube uh, they were the the Rad bike, the Hemiway bike, and the Aventant bike. And I checked out all three of them. First of all, I found out that the MagiCycle had a larger battery than any of the bikes. Which to me, that means quite a bit. That means more range and uh, hopefully a little bit more power too. Now here's a chart that shows uh, the comparison I believe on those other three bikes. They don't list them here but I'm pretty sure that the three bikes they're listing here are the ones that I just told you about and the prices. And you can see that the Magic Cycle at $15.89 is the best buy in that same category. Same size motor but the MagiCycle has a much larger battery, as I said before. So if you've considered purchasing a fat tire e-bike with a 750 watt motor, I would suggest going with the MagiCycle. You get a larger battery, which is a plus right there. And if you use my link in the description below and enter the promo code OMC100, That'll knock $100 off the price. So that's going to conclude part one of the MagiCycle review, unboxing and assembly. So be sure and subscribe and click that bell so you get notified when I put up the next video. The part two video will be test riding the MagiCycle. And I'll be going up this hill here at the Riverside RV Park. That is a 10% grade. It goes from a 5% up to a 10% grade. So let's see just how well it does on a 10% grade. 
And if you'd like to watch the complete assembly video that was produced by MagiCycle, click that little eye up here in the corner. Watch that video. So until next time, as always, I want to thank these folks here for supporting my channel. The members, the PayPal contributors, and the folks that click that thanks button. I want to thank you all very much. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. So be sure and look for part two of the MagiCycle review. And this will be Old Man Coffee saying, dream until your dreams come true. And I'll see you next time.